In today's video, we take a look at an inexpensive model train set I picked up from Amazon.com for just $60. The question is, is it any good? It's a battery operated set that runs on just four AA batteries and it comes with enough track and even four switches and a cross track so you can get a little creative with the layouts. Plus, it comes with cardboard cutouts to bring the layouts to life. And the train has sound effects, too. A new model train set has arrived from Amazon.com. And you know, normally I deal with big G-scale model trains, but when I ordered this one, I couldn't tell from the listing what scale it was. From the pictures, it looked like it might be okay, but it has arrived in a very small box. So I'm pretty sure that I've accidentally gotten stuck here with something like an HO scale model train set. Take a look at this box here. That's the complete model train set. If this was something big like O or G scale, it would be in a much larger box than that. So I'm worried, but let's open this up see what's inside and see if we can have any fun with it. Here goes nothing. Ah, yes. The track. Okay. Looking at that track. That is bigger than HO scale. It looks kind of like S scale to me. Just for comparison, here's the rail car from this model train set. Here's a rail car from my G-Scale collection. Big difference. But doesn't mean it won't be fun. Taking a closer look at the track that comes with it, it's good news. There's eight pieces of straight track. There's ten pieces of curved track. And then this is really unusual for an inexpensive model train set. There's four switches and there's also a cross track. So I think we can have some fun with that. So I set it up on the carpet in my living room. And rather than just making a simple circle or an oval, I used all but two pieces of the track that came with it and made this little layout. Once you switch the switches, the train can do a figure eight. The manufacturer says that this train set is for kids who are at least three years of age. But let me say this, if you're going to give this to a three-year-old, set up the track for them, snapping all the track pieces together properly and securing each section to the next with what they call a buckle or most model train manufacturers would call a track clip. If that doesn't get done right, the train will derail a lot and that won't be fun for your kid. So do that part for them, at least the first time, so that it's done right. By the way, I should mention that those switches have to be switched by hand. I'm just using some editing magic to make it look like they're switching by themselves here in this video. You can hear in the background that the train has some sound effects built in. I'd recommend setting this train up in a room where you can close the door because the only way to shut those sound effects off is to turn off the train. If the train is running, it makes those sounds. It might get a little annoying to parents after a while. I put the camera down at ground level and it's funny from this angle, it doesn't look like the train is set on top of carpet. It looks like it's on top of a layer of popcorn. See what I mean? Ah, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just hungry. Included in this set is a whole bunch of cardboard cutouts of both scenery and people. I actually think this is brilliant. It's such a simple thing, but it makes this entire layout look a little more interesting. If you're super creative, and especially if you own a cricket, you can learn from how they did these and make more on your own. They say if you just put a little water in the smokestack of the locomotive, the train will make steam come out of the smokestack. Maybe I wasn't doing it right, but I couldn't get that part to work. 
Now I've got the camera really close to the trains in these shots, and it makes this set look a lot bigger than it really is. So just remember, if you order one, the train itself is very small, just a little bigger than HO scale. But it does come with a fair amount of track, plus those switches and the cross track. So it is a lot more interesting than some of those inexpensive train sets that only do a circle or an oval. Before I wrap this up, here's a unique camera angle to see this layout from. These trains are so small that a normal GoPro would not fit on top, but I happen to still have one of the old, smaller GoPros, and it was just barely able to fit on top of the coal car to get this shot. I think it just wouldn't be a Jim Sim model train video without a shot like this. One last thing I want to point out. I paid $59.99 for this train set on Amazon.com, but the week after I bought it, I noticed they were selling it for $65.99. So I guess the price goes up and down. Watch out for that. On the screen right now, that's the address to type into your browser if you want to buy one of these from Amazon. And they'll give me about a dollar in commission if you do buy it using that address. I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching.